Hi, I'm Monte, and welcome to Traveling with Coke and Strippers. Look, we all know this is where the magic usually happens, in the below ground lair in Virginia. But today, we are going to travel to Kansas City to get our lunch delivered by train. Here we are at Fritz's Restaurant. Looks like a typical diner. But listen to this kid next door getting all excited about a choo choo. And look at this train going by. I'd love to keep playing the sound of this kid in the background so excited, but I'm afraid of getting a copyright strike because of this swinging background music. Several minutes later, there comes my food. It's dropped off on this elevator, which lowers it down to my table. Cool. And if you look under the elevator, you see a black telephone. That's where orders are made at every table. Lunch suitable for an evil mad genius. The elevator retracts and the train continues on the track around the restaurant. It's heading back to the kitchen. Another train comes out. It's heading for the kid next table over. So the train drops off the mill on the elevator and it lowers down. Now watch when they pull the tray off, the elevator retracts right when they pull it off. I didn't notice that before when I was actually there. But there has to be some kind of sensor in that elevator. Wait, I assume. Hey, now look on the back of this train. The restaurant's name is carved in the back. I think this engine must be custom built. Okay, I want you to look carefully at the elevator. There's a lever that drops down and it pushes the food tray off of the train tray as it goes by. Then that lever lifts up as this elevator starts down. I think it's pushed up by the actual motion of the elevator going down, thus saving an actuator. Now, if you look at the top of these bars that hold the track up, you see that stick kind of thing sticking up. That to me looks like a, uh, an induction sensor. So that's how I can tell that the train is going by and which station. Also notice these access panels by each station. Uh, I guess it's to get the wiring and the linear actuator running the elevator. I think all this stuff looks hand built, the train, the bracket, uh, even those elevators. And, and I don't mean that in a bad way, I just mean that was a lot of work and a lot of design, a lot of engineering involved. If I have to send food out to table 28, yeah. I would push that button there and it goes to 28. Huh. So it's simple. As, as far as you know, the, all the control lives in this one. Uh, lives in this one know, box. There's a whole other computer box in there. So this is me trying to talk my way into the back to see the rest of the control system, and this is the manager saying, "Nope, no one is allowed back there. Too bad." Anyway, just from this front panel, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but this is an Allen Bradley touchscreen HMI. That's kind of interesting. So I assume in the back. Uh, there's an Allen Bradley PLC with a bunch of I.O. cards uh, running this train delivery system. Pretty sophisticated. They had to have like 50 tables at this restaurant with the sensors, the elevators, the electrical box. That's probably 4K a seat when it was built 20 years ago. So that's at least a $200,000 train system. Well, anyway, it's time to get back to the secret lair in Virginia. If you enjoyed this video, Share it with a friend. If not, share it with an enemy. And don't forget to spend all your money on Coke and strippers.